Welcome back, Fleur community. I hope everyone's doing well and having an incredible day as always. And in this video, we're actually going to look at the latest decentralized exchange to launch on the Songbird network. And that is Oracle Swap. This exchange launched less than 24 hours ago and I've had a good play around with it and I'm going to introduce you to some of the basic functionality that you can expect from this decentralized exchange. Before we get down to the nitty gritty, I just want to remind you that this is the Oracle Swap documentation website and here you can find all of the information that you may require. They have a vast amount and it covers the full spectrum so if you are having any problems I'd highly recommend checking this out. So with that being said let's jump in. So this is the landing page for the Oracle Swap decentralized exchange and as you can see we have a number of different options up here and the swap page is this one that we're on and it allows you to swap various assets which are held on the Songbird network. In this example we have Songbird at the top and Oracle at the bottom and this implies that we want to swap Songbird for Oracle tokens. So what you can do is type in a number, let's say 10, and that would get us 100 and 90 oracles or just shy of 190 oracle tokens. All you would have to do is click on swap here at the bottom and then you're going to get this confirmation on MetaMask. It may be different on uh, the Bifrost wallet or Decent wallet but you can access this website via any Web3 enabled browser. As we can see we have the confirmation in the top right which just basically says that we swapped 10 Songbird for 188.3 Oracle tokens. Perfect. The balance has reflected here, which is always great, but the power of this decentralized exchange is the fact that you can basically swap anything for anything. So something else that I would like to talk to you about is this setting buttons here at the top right. Now, there is this idea of slippage, and we're going to talk a little bit about that in a second. And in fact, we can do that right now. If we close this, slippage is basically the idea of, um, I guess, a fee that you may pay based on the amount that you trade. The larger your trade, the more likely that you may incur some slippage. So let's just take this as an example. We have one songbird which equates to 18.8 um, oracle and you know we times that by 10, still a relatively small amount. It's maintaining that ratio of 18.8 per songbird token. We can go up as well, 100 the same, 1000 the same. Once you get to 10,000 which starts to become more of a substantial amount, you can see that we're actually expected to receive less Oracle tokens compared to the previous ratio. If we do that again, you can see that, you know, it's not that viable to make these large trades if you don't want to incur large fees. Now, this is just an extreme example, but it's something to note. And there is protection here where you can set this to auto, which will be half a percent. Um, if you don't want to incur such slippage. So we're going to move over to, I guess, the top right here and check out this particular section, which represents the wallet that you have connected to Oracle Swap. If you click that, you're going to get a list of all of the tokens that you can use on this decentralized exchange and your amounts. So if you are interested to see if a transaction was successful, you can always just check out your wallet here and the various balances. One thing that I wanted to bring your attention to again is the top left here, this stake button. So here is the staking page. This is where you can stake your Oracle for X Oracle. And we're going to do that right now. We're just going to go over here and click on the max. And you can see that there is this idea of one X Oracle is equal to 1.0032 Oracle, which means that I'm actually going to receive less X Oracle than I have Oracle. 
And we're going to talk a little bit about that in a second. So let's first go through the process. Again, confirming the transaction as you normally would and give it a second. There we go. So we actually have 10,180 Oracle. And you may recall that we had more Oracle when we did that. And that's because of this ratio here. One Oracle equals 1.0032 Oracle. And this is because of a really clever idea that the Oracle team have come up with. And it's the idea of the Oracle Foundry. So what is the Oracle Foundry? I'm going to summarize this in a very basic term. So basically 0.035% of the swap fees from the decentralized exchange are actually added to the Oracle Foundry. And the Oracle Foundry is going to have this, I guess, a war chest, if you will. And that's going to be used to distribute profits to people who then choose to unstake their X Oracle. So the idea is that you stake your Oracle tokens into X Oracle tokens. The foundry will increase in Oracle tokens. Again, these are derived from the fees from the decentralized exchange. And then when you choose to unstake your X Oracle, you will get a share of the Oracle Foundry rewards. Very interesting mechanic, I'm sure you will agree. And um, this is why I would always recommend jumping into X Oracle rather than just holding the Oracle tokens themselves. Now let's have a quick look at the farming. So if we click on farm up here, you can have a look at all farms. And these are all the pools that you can actually join. Over here, we have the rewards section. Now, this is something that you will not receive all of. You will receive a share, which is proportional to the amount that you have locked. So let's take this pool, for example. This pool contains, let's say, 4 million um, of this total locked value. Now, if you were fortunate enough to have a deposit of 400,000, which would represent 10%, you would then get 10% of this rewards. Or if you owned 1% of this pool, maybe 40,000, you would get 1% of these tokens. Now this value is always changing and that means that your share of the rewards is also changing. The bigger share you have in the pool, the bigger share of the rewards that you will receive. Many of these pools are dual sided as you can see meaning that they represent two different tokens, Wrapped Songbird and Oracle in this case. But there is this one here at the top, which is a single-sided pool. Now, there are some very important differences. The double-sided pool here, the dual-sided pool, actually has a risk of impermanent loss. Now, when you actually enter the pool, you're going to enter at a 50-50 ratio. $100 worth of Wrapped Songbird and $100 worth of Oracle. Now, obviously, the price is actually going to change and this upsets the balance. And as the balance deviates from your initial 50-50 split, the tokens will be redistributed to maintain this 50-50 ratio. And this is where impermanent loss can actually happen. In contrast, this pool at the top, the X Oracle pool, is very secure. It means that you can't actually suffer from impermanent loss. And because of this reason, many people have chosen to input their X Oracle tokens to get a share of this reward. And this means that the rewards are diluted between more people. This is riskier, and hence you get a bigger share of the pool because more people would like to be safe. So this is something that you have to decide for yourself, whether you want to take on a little bit of risk to gain some rewards in the form of profit tokens, or you want to play it safe and maintain all of the X Oracle that you hold um, for a smaller share of the rewards. Now we're going to do a quick example here. This is a single sided pool, as we mentioned, and you can see that I have are just over 10,000 oracles. 
So let's just do an example of 1000 Oracle tokens. We're going to confirm the deposit here. And again, confirm the transaction. You can see that that's processing and success. Perfect. Now, what just happened there, right? What we can do is we can check up here and look on the rewards. And I actually had some X Oracle being staked prior to this. So this is basically your collection page for the rewards where you can harvest these rewards. And every so often you will see these, this number increase as you just did then, right? And what you can do is harvest the rewards. And this rewards here, these rewards are actually representative of my share of the pool and these this amount of rewards being distributed. And it's done very frequently. And that's why we can actually see them going up in real time. I'm sure if we wait a couple of seconds, we may even see it increase again. There we go. So um, this is basically your collection page for the rewards. And then you may be wondering what you can do with this profit token. And well, you can't actually do that much with it at the minute, but there are big plans for the profit token, including use with NFTs and on the marketplace too, and exclusive NFTs that you can buy. It's, it's going to be really interesting. Um, and you can also, if you wanted to swap it. So let's just say you wanted to swap some profit token uh, into something like Songbird. You just type in a number there and you can see that one profit token actually equates to 3.6 Songbird. So let's just do this as an example here. Confirm this in a second. There we go. And there we go. So our balance has decreased by one for profit and increased by around 3.6 in Songbird. Happy days. Now, something else that I just want to quickly go over is the idea of the dual sided liquidity pools. So I do have some X Oracle, as we already know, and also some Songbird. So let's quickly choose this. I have already staked some here. We can go on to liquidity and let's say we want to stake 10 Songbird. Now, this value here 10 Songbird is worth 187 X Oracle. So as I said before, this ratio is maintained at a 50-50. So as the price of say Songbird, if Songbird was to increase, the balance would not be at that 50-50 ratio. And this is again, the risk of impermanent loss. So let's just say, let's confirm to add liquidity. Um, and again, confirm the transaction. You are going to see this fee here. This is the amount that you chose to stake plus the fee. So the amount plus the gas fee here. So it's 10, which we initially chose. And also uh, the fee, which is, you know, 0 0.258. So we're going to confirm that. And here we go. Beautiful. It works seamlessly. I really do like this. Um, and again, we're going to click on here. This is something that's very important. After you've provided the liquidity, what you would need to do is click on staking. So when, once we provided that liquidity here, we received some liquidity pool tokens. In this case, they're called OLP, maybe Oracle liquidity pool tokens. And what you want to do is you don't just want to sit on these. You want to click here at the top and click on staking click on max and confirm deposit. And this is basically you entering the pool with your liquidity pool tokens. So there are a number of different steps here that you need to do. Uh, just to summarize, you need to first add the liquidity. Once you get the liquidity, you will have the liquidity pool tokens, and then you need to add the liquidity pool tokens to the pool then you will start to accrue rewards. Now, as the rewards accumulate, you will be able to harvest them. You just saw them go up there. And again, this is time based, dependent on your share of the pool. You can periodically harvest these rewards 
and do whatever you like with the profit token. So that basically summarizes the basic functionality of the Oracle Swap Exchange. Again, as per the warning at the top of this website, Songbird is a canary network. Please approach all applications with some care and be sure to do your due diligence when interacting with DeFi applications to make sure that you know the risks involved. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I'm out. Mission control, we have liftoff.